doing. I got some movies here to show you that I wanted, that I recently ordered. Um, a couple from Amazon, a few from Dollar General. But let's start with the one thing that's not a movie, which is this Monsters at Work pop of Val. Um, if you haven't seen the new series, Monsters at Work, I love the series. Um, I was watching it every Wednesday as it released. And uh, it became my favorite show of the year because as soon as it ended, I was just bummed out because I realized, oh shit, I'm not going to have this show to watch every Wednesday. And it was my favorite thing to watch every Wednesday. It really bummed me out. So I pre-ordered the Pops immediately when they were announced. Both from Amazon. And this one actually was $5 on Walmart's website and my pre-order hadn't come in yet for, the, for this one. So I just ordered off of Walmart with another pop because it would have been ten dollars if I ordered it from Amazon if I kept that pre-order price, right? So that's what I did. Um, I kept my pre-order with the other one because they didn't have this one on Walmart's website. And it wasn't cheaper, so I just I ordered this one and it actually came very quickly. And my if I ordered this from Amazon, it's probably wasn't gonna come for another two weeks. So very irritating. Don't know why that is, but yeah, I'm really excited to have this pop. Really love this character. Uh, this character is actually voiced by Mindy Kaling, uh, who you probably know from like The Office and stuff, but she is a great talent, and um, she he plays this character really well, and I really like the design of this pop, really expresses the character incredibly well, if, you love, if you're a fan of the series, this is an awesome figure to have, very cool, absolutely adore that, so I picked that up, uh, big, big fan of this Funko Pop. Can't wait for my other one to show up. Who knows when that's going to happen, but... Now we'll get into the Dollar General stuff. Let's get into the ones I already opened. First up, Happy Feet 1 and 2. Um, I've seen the sequel. I don't think I've seen the first one. I've probably seen bits and pieces of it. I saw the second one when it came out with my dad, and uh, we both agreed it was pretty bad. As a kid watching Happy Feet 2... I said it was bad when I was a kid, you know. Tells you how not good that movie is. But uh, I haven't seen the first one. And it was $7 for two movies. And I think these are out of print on Blu-ray. So at the Dollar General, I just picked it up to watch them. Did you guys know that these are directed by George Miller of Mad Max fame? You know, director of Mad Max, Free Road, things like that. So that's pretty weird and bizarre trivial facts about that. This one was a dollar. It's called Drive Hard. It's got John Cusack in it. For a dollar, I was like, okay. Most movies aren't a dollar at the Dollar General. So I picked that one up for a buck. And then I picked up Blinded by the Light. If you guys saw my video I made about this movie and Bruce Springsteen and kind of that. I mentioned I didn't have this movie. I've considered buying it. So finally when I saw it again, I picked it up for five bucks. Which was a really good deal. Then I picked up this edition of the Lego movie. Which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. Because I could take this out of box. I totally could. But I like the box. I like the way it displays inside. And I do have the movie over there. I think my copy's cracked. But I could be wrong about that. So if I'm wrong about that. Probably going to keep this in box as a display item. But I'll open it up for you guys. Kind of show you what it is real quick. You know this figure right here. Is Vitruvius. From the movie. Uh, which is pretty cool. It's a little mini figure there. And then you pull this out. And basically this is a poster. Like a 3D poster of Emmett from the movie. I wouldn't ever put this on a wall. It's like, it's a cardboard actually stand up. Basically, you pull this out and it like stands up and it comes with 3D blue. So, I paid about 10 bucks for it, which I think is pretty fair for what this movie is. Like I said, if my copy isn't scratched like I could have sworn it was, probably just gonna, um, probably just gonna like pass or whatever on. Pulling this one out and just keep it in the box in the display piece because this is a really neat collector's edition of this movie And I'm a huge fan of this movie. I watch this movie all the time so Definitely really cool to have now. Let's get into my Amazon orders uh, This was seven dollars on Amazon, which is Wayne's World 2 um, I don't have Wayne's World 1 yet. I say yet because When I went to buy this movie it was on sale for seven dollars now, previously I was considering buying the Wayne's World movies because they were $10 a piece, which I didn't really want to pay. It felt like it was a little much, right? But they announced a Wayne's World steelbook for the anniversary of the movie. And so what I did is I, 
I had Christmas money, and I pre-ordered the Steelbook. Now, that Steelbook doesn't come out until February 1st, so, and Wayne's World 2 was on sale for 7 bucks. so I thought, alright, I'm going to need Wayne's World 2, so I'll pre-order the Steelbook and bought Wayne's World 2. So, my Wayne's World 2 copy is here, but I can't watch it till you know, I get my copy of Wayne's World 1, uh, which I don't get till February 1st, because, well, that's when it releases, so, which, uh, I'm excited for I really like that steelbook. I really like the design of it. Don't usually pre-order steelbooks, but A, it was a really good price. Didn't have the movie, and, you know, cool. So I pre-ordered that, and it's coming February 1st. Very excited about that. Um, then I picked up this off of Amazon. I think this is out of print. That's why it was so expensive off of Amazon. I don't know why they still had copies of this, if it's out of print, but it was... Scream 4. So I have all the other Scream movies at this point. Um, I have Screams 1 through 3. I have the 4K of Scream. Needed this one because, uh, you know, I have to watch it before Scream 5 comes out. And so I picked this up. It was $13, which is a bit much for what, what for this movie. Don't know if I really wanted to pay that, but I did. I picked it up and... Now I have the complete Scream collection. Now I'm just waiting on one more movie from Amazon. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Ordered these. Really glad to have these. So that's kind of my Christmas haul part four, I guess. Because, you know, I got these technically with Christmas money. So we'll just count it. Call it a Dollar General and Christmas haul. I still have more things I ordered with Christmas money too coming in the mail. Which is crazy. I still can't believe it. But, you know, it's happening. I got these really cool.